Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. As you have noticed on my channel, I love to build a lot of Lego, especially the really big sets where it takes some time to build them, and then I love telling you all about them. I also occasionally do some marble runs from Gravitrax or some other toys that you know you can also construct and build. Lately, however, there haven't been no much sets that are quite interesting or that are big enough for to build that interest me. So, just by accident, I saw another type of Lego, I guess, which was this Explorer Sciences upper body set. This is an awesome set, and the reason why I called it Lego is because you can actually completely deconstruct it. It is a um, it is obviously a model of the upper body, of the upper human body, I may add, and you can take apart all of the different organs and then put them back in. In fact, there are 54 pieces in this entire set, which is quite a lot, actually. It's not as, it's not as many as we've done in some Lego sets, but it's still a lot for the human body. And so now I'm going to take all the different parts, and I'm going to try and build it so that it looks exactly like this. All while explaining just a little bit and showing everything to you guys. So, this set is actually quite similar to a Lego set because it has a little instructions booklet. But this one is even more helpful because, because this is all about science and the human body. It explains everything in amazing detail. Not to exactly how to build it, but what the purpose of each organ is, where it is located, and what other organs it impacts, which is very interesting. So I've read all about that now, and so I will try and explain this to the best of my capabilities. Cap capabilities, yeah. So let's start with the most important part of the body, one of the most important parts of the body, the brain. So then, Here we have the half of a head, and we can see that it is with skin. And then we have the other side of it, which is going to be all in muscle and tissue. So let's... Hmm. Well, that's strange. Okay. Oh, I understand. Sorry, this one goes here. I got mixed up. There we go. Sorry, that took some time. And now let's also do this part, which goes right in here. Right, there we go. And now we're going to put the brain together, which is responsible for all of our thinking, all of our emotions, and even our motor actions and motor skills. So now we're going to put that all together. Quite cool that you can see both parts. So you can see the different tissue and muscles, and then you can see the skin. And last but not least, which is very important, the eye. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Let's try again. Probably shouldn't have taken this out. Ah, there we go. There we go, that's right. And then now we just have to put the ear on. Fortunately, there's only one ear, so you can only hear this a little bit. Now let's move on to, so we're going to put that on at the end, the torso itself. So first off, we're going to start with the back because it's very important. And as you can see, there aren't too many elements, so it's quite easy to do. Over here, we have this really, really long thing that you can take apart. But, and I'll take it apart now. As you can see, it deconstructs in different pine in different parts. So this is the vertebrae, and then when you put this all together, you get the spine. And it's very important. So you get this little rubber part. 
because it has lots of different nerves and it transports its message via those nerves to the brain. So now let's just put that together. And there we go. And then on top of all that, we're just going to close it off with the back, which looks very nice because it is also with all the mus muscle and tissue, which is, is very interesting to see, apparent, especially considering that here we have the normal skin and then over here we have muscles. Right. So now we're going to start with some, so these are some more breathing tubes, which is the easiest that I can describe it in way that I can describe it. I'm sorry, I missed a couple of words. I'm just going to go down to all the way over there, and we're going to need that in place before we build the lungs, which is what we're going to be doing right now. So here we have the larynx, we have the tronchia, and then we have the bronchus. We have all the different branches that are going to be going inside the lungs, and some of you may know this, but some of you don't know this. The left lung is actually significantly smaller than the right lung, just because of the reason that the heart is located on the left, near closer to the left lung, so it kind of touches that one more than the right one. And it is located, the heart is located right in between them, so we'll see that pretty soon. And I've made this mistake so many times already. You have to build it from this point of view because the larynx is facing this way and not this way. So you have to build it from this point of view. Which I forget every so often. There we go. That's the first side. Now there's the third part, but I, we're only going to do that once we have the heart in place. There we go. And here we can actually see, ah, uh, well, part of it is sticking out. We can see actually, because, okay, I'm sorry about this. I just have to rebuild the, this lung. There we go, finally. There are actually some drawings so you can see the branches very, very well. Now we're just going to put that on. Hop it up. There we go. And now we're going to get the heart. And actually, this will be going over it. And it's quite good because of the colors that you can see that it will be matching up exactly like that. So we know that the heart is going to be located like that, so that it is correct. So now I'm just going to put that on. So first, we're just going to do that. Second part, and now we're going to put it in. There we go. No, no. Oops, the back fell off. Hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Now we're going to put some more breathing tubes in here. One second, just so that it clicks. There we go. And some people actually don't know that this even exists, but this is the diaphragm, which is located right under your lungs. And actually, when you're breathing in and breathing out, you can feel it go up and down. Next, now that we're finished, ah, diaphragm, don't fall out. There we go. Now that we're finished with the respiratory system, we're going to be working on the digestive system. So over here we have the stomach, which is this part. Then we have the spleen. And right under we have the pancreas, which is very important. Then over here we have 
two kidneys that we're going to put on in just one moment. But then we also have two intestines. We have this, this uh, small one. I say small, but it's also quite big. And then we have our large intestine that goes around all of it and leads to our bladder. And we're just going to first put the kidneys on. So I'll just take off the diaphragm for a sec. There we go, number one, and now number two. And now we're going to put that all in. And also, I almost forgot to mention this. This is also a very, very important part, which is called the liver, and it's located right under your diaphragm. And I'll show you that in just a second. You can see that that fits together quite perfectly. Now we're just going to put that all in. There we go. So now we're all finished up and we have the only the last part to do, which is the rib cage, which protects the lungs and all the vital organs that are up here and the collarbones, which are right up here. You can actually just see them poking through. So we're going to attach these two together. Ah. There we go. And now, there we go, we're all finished, except for we need the head. Hopefully it fits. Well, I guess I didn't put something together correctly, so how about we try it again. I see, you see, you can't leave any space in between. You really have to make sure that it fits correctly. Otherwise, you might have a little problem, like I just did. So let's put that together now. Can't be right. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Ah, the ear. It's all right. And there we go. So we just needed to adjust it a little bit so that can also happen. There we have the ear. Now we're just going to put it on the little platform. And that's all. So I'm finished with this now. Thank you very much for watching this video. So I call this a toy and it really kind of is, but also it's a model which is really awesome because you can take different parts of it apart like you saw me do. And this is really educational and really helpful because the booklet really describes in fantastic detail about every single part. For example, this is just about the brain, so you get to learn so, so much. So for many kids, you might get it just to play around with it a little bit, but it can actually be very helpful if you want to be a doctor or if you're a medical student who's just starting to learn everything, which is really useful. So yeah, hopefully you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the notifications button. Yeah, bye everyone!